Are you good sports? Yes. No. How big is this game? Define big. Large. Define large. Bigger than small. Yes. Yes. Could you have timed that announcement trailer any better? It was purely accidental. <laughs> Has the Microsoft purchase affected this game at all? No. No. What was the best part about selling out to Microsoft? <laughs> was it the money? <laughs> we don't think it's ironic at all that we're making this game and now we're owned by Microsoft. Do you consider this a throwback RPG? No. It's next generation of a throwback RPG. <laughs> were you ever tempted to make the Outer Worlds isometric just so you could get it done in like a month or whatever? <laughs> Ah, uh, the could, optimism. We could have used the Pillars engine. What percentage of this team worked on Fallout New Vegas? 20%? What percentage of the team worked on Fallout 1 and 2? 3%. I like it. Specific. <laughs> Leave it to the programmer to know the percentages. <laughs> Do you think the original Fallout games are hard to go back to? I think the interface makes them hard to go back to. But you think the gameplay holds up? I actually think so. What's your favorite board game? Settlers of Catan. I really like uh, Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Why are there so many behind you? Because we're sitting on the side of the table. Okay, so do you ever wrap up just a hard day's work and get home and realize you've been working on Outer Wilds all day? Never. <laughs> can I play the Outer Worlds in third person? No. No. Can I put that gun down? Yes. Can I listen to music while I'm roaming around? Not in the way you're asking. Do you have like a radio or something? No. What's the weirdest enemy in the game right now? Tim. Hold on. Are you in the game? No. no. They put white chocolate in the game, but I'm making sure. That's the weirdest out. enemy is white chocolate. Do you consider white chocolate an enemy? Or yes. Are there a lot of aliens in this game? No. Not intelligent aliens. There's, intel there's uh, alien life forms. So this isn't finally Obsidian's Aliens RPG? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> Can I change the time of day? By sleeping. But there is a day-night cycle in the game. Yes. Does this game take place in our galaxy? Yes. But not our timeline? No. No. Okay, so the outer worlds, but how many worlds? Technically, two. But then there's moons and dwarf planets and gas giants. And space stations. And space stations and asteroids. Do all of the worlds have breathable atmospheres? The ones that you can go to. There's no needing to have a spacesuit or things like that in this game. But you can have a spacesuit. When we cut vacuum areas, we cut spaces. But you can wear hats and helmets. And yes. Like oh, yeah. Will there be DLC worlds? We'd love if there were. Will there be microtransactions? Hell no. no. Will it run at 60 FPS on consoles? Is that our target? I mean, I would... I would. Let's um, hope so. 4K on console support? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You're the technical one. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we do now. And this is coming out on Steam and PS4 in addition to Xbox, right? Yes. Any chance of a Switch version? I have no idea. New Game Plus? We're talking about that. Are you guys open to modding? Yes, we'd love for uh, players to be able to mod. Um, we're going to look into that after we ship in terms of like what kind of support we can have for it. But the plan is to release a game that players won't have to finish on their own this time. Yes. <laughs> I like that list this time. Is a little bit of jank kind of a good thing? I was going to say no, but... I don't know what if you, you want to you commit yourself to that. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean by jank? A little jank in the trank. <laughs> Tim, keeping in mind this is a rapid fire interview, explain how faster than light travel works in this game. A man has discovered how to make a ship move at a discontinuous velocity. So you get your ship up to close to light speed, as close as you want to get, and then you just skip past it. It's technically correct. Physically. Doesn't break any Einstein laws. As far as I know. Do I have to be a human? Yes. Are you, are you talking about in the game? In the character creator, are there presets or are there sliders? You can cycle through different types of heads and then use sliders to, to, at least that's the current version. Can I make my character just look like some walking nightmare? If you so choose. <laughs> Does the player character have a name? Uh, no, you, get, you can name your own character. What do other characters call you? Uh, your companions call you captain or boss. Hey boss, is there a power armor equivalent? Uh, there's a heavy armor. Um, it's not completely sealed like a power armor would be. But it looks cool. Yes, there, there is a cool looking heavy armor in the game. Are you putting points into skills at the very start of the game? Effectively, yeah. Is someone like asking you questions? Are you a strong guy or a weak guy? No, but someone is commenting on every choice you're making. Is there a morality system? No, there's a reputation system. Can I beat this game without killing anybody? We hope so. We're not certain. Can I beat this game by killing everybody? Yes. Sadly, we know that to be true. Are there factions players can join? Yes. What is the best part about combat? I like shooting people in specific body locations and watching their reaction. 
in slow motion. Is that really too specific? Are there kids in the game? No. Are you ready for kids? Personally, no. Is there hacking in the game? Yes. yes. Does the minigame suck? No, because there is no minigame. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I read emails in the game? Yes, but they're not called emails. Do you ever read other people's emails here at Obsidian? Not that they know of. Can we try it right now? I'll show you later. And this game is funny? I think so. Do you have any questions for Fergus? How did he like being my uh, QA person on my first game at Interplay? I like to think I, Tim was working for me. Do I need to have companions? No, it's up to you. But each companion has a specific side quest. Yes. What do you get for completing their quest lines? Their combat ability improves. Can the companions die? They die during combat. Well, they go unconscious during combat. In Supernova, they can die in the very hardest difficulty. So you can lose them permanently on the hardest difficulty? Yes. Can companions blow my stealth? No. Why can't I romance them? It just takes a lot of work and a lot of focus, and we did, that wasn't a place that we wanted to put our, our efforts into because um, it takes a lot to do them right. Tim, can you give me a shorter version of that? Didn't want to. Okay, so I can't go all the way with them, but can I flirt with my companions? Some of them would be hard to flirt with. Which character will be our favorite? I have a favorite that we haven't talked about yet. We haven't mentioned the existence of this companion yet. Oh, please continue. Nope. But which one is going to super suck? Hopefully not all of them. <laughs> Are all the companions human? Ha ha ha. Good one. <laughs> Don't comment. Does your spaceship have a name? We're not revealing that yet. It's a good one, though. Can you upgrade your spaceship? No. Can I flirt with my spaceship at least? You can try. You guys are being pretty uptight about this. <laughs> <laughs> are there laser weapons? Yes. Can I control or, or tame any alien creatures? No, not in the way you're thinking. But in a different way. You can get robots to turn on each other, but you can't really control them. Are there boss fights? We're not calling them bosses, but they're effectively There's... designed encounters with more difficult individuals. What else would you call that? Well, boss fights to me, mean a lot of special moves and a lot of very specific um, combat situations that you haven't seen in the whole rest of the game. Uh, time and resources. So in this game, your character can develop flaws? Yes. How many flaws are there? Two dozen. Um, but you're only on one playthrough, you only get three unless you play hard, and then you can have four. Unless you play Supernova, and then you can have five. Is that worth it? Supernova? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does this game contain a single fart joke? I don't think so, but I can't guarantee none have slipped past me. And if that's the case, I can't ex begin to express my disappointment. Were you nervous about Fallout's transition into first person? No, I had nothing to do with us. Nervous? No. Apprehensive? Curious. Is Fallout named after Fallout Boy from The Simpsons? Fallout was, uh, Brian Fargo came up with the name Fallout. If yeah. Tim came up with the name, then it would definitely be <laughs> yes. a reference. And I'd admit the pl utter plagiarism of it. Why blue and yellow for the vault uniforms in Fallout? We had two colors we had to use in the palette. Let me ex explain that. There were two colors he wasn't using in a very limited palette that I had supplied. And so I said, if you don't use them, I'll delete them. So and I replaced them. them with other things. So sometimes war changes, though, right? War never changes. Uh, I see what you did there. Tim, if you don't mind, can we just talk to Leonard for a minute right now? Sure. Leonard, what's Tim's biggest flaw? Raptophobia. You ever get tired of him just talking about and reviewing chocolate? <laughs> no, because I get to eat the chocolate that he talks about and reviews. Hey, Tim, you ever heard of this chocolate? You know that's not even considered chocolate in the UK? Here, review that. Thanks. Okay, so you worked on Vampire the Masquerade. Yes. First, what's a masquerade? In that context, it's not letting human beings know that vampires exist. Uh-huh. Okay. And a vampire? What? Would you guys like to see a sequel? I would. Sure. Don't we sound excited? So on the subject of the Outer Worlds again, how does the hype feel? Good. I love that people are looking forward to this game. A lot. But do you think people should leave nicer comments on YouTube? Can you give me an example of a not nice one? <laughs> so we put up a video... And people were real mean to us about the fact that there was commentary over the footage. Oh, I think people need to be nicer. Yeah, I they agree. Sh they should be a lot nicer. Thank you. Do you have a build of that Seven Dwarves RPG somewhere around here that I can play? I don't know. That's a really good question. I would love to see it if we do. Do you have any questions for someone else that we've done a rapid fire interview with that we can sort of splice and edit in out of context? I watched David Von der Haar, and I was wondering if he ever got some sleep. It's called Blackout. What are your highest stats? 
Mine's luck. I don't have a high stat. Going for the dumb playthrough? They're all equally low. Other than Obsidian, what's the best game studio of all time? Troika. Other than Obsidian, what's the worst game studio of all time? Troika. You guys got any Dungeon Siege 3 swag line around here I could have still? <laughs> that sounds like a question for Fergus. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. How many endings will there be in the Outer Worlds? Lots. Will there be those end slides like showing us what happened? Yes. What's going to happen in the Outer Worlds 2? That's still up for debate. But you've got ideas. We do have one solid write-up and then a couple more ideas for how we could do something different. Any chance you'd add co-op? No. You mean to this one or to the next one? Either. I don't know. Also no. <laughs> there you go. Can you design a cult classic on purpose? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. We had no idea what we were doing. You guys have a pretty good track record. We still don't know what we're doing. That's why they become cult classics as opposed to successful games. <laughs> Who's the smartest game developer you've ever met? That would have been a programmer at Carbine Studios. What's his name? Lauren McQuaid. Who's the dumbest developer you've ever met? Can you guys tell me something I don't know about Diablo? Uh, we worked on it for six years. Diablo 3. Are there any celebrity cameos in the Outer Worlds? Not yet. I swear to God, if this game has one bug. No, we're safe. It's going to have way more than one bug. The Outer Worlds is definitely coming out in 2019. I guarantee it personally. And this is going to be a good game? Yes, it will be a good game. Leonard guarantees that personally. Can you eat that chocolate bar now? I'm capable of doing that, yes. <laughs> Okay.